What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Garrett the Path to YGTP. Let's get into it. Madden 17 franchise glitch. Now, this glitch works for pretty much every position besides wide receiver and cornerback. So, without further ado, head over to your team. You're going to find a position that you want to upgrade. For me, I'm looking at my right guard, Gabe Jackson. I'm like, yeah, we could do better. I'm going to make my way over to free agency. So, this is the first step. You're going to make your way over to free agency. And you're going to get three people that are the same position that you want filled. It doesn't matter their overall. They're going to be traded shortly. So I'm heading over to right guard. First three people I see, I'm going to sign them. I'll make it easy for myself. Now, if you're low on cap space, just to get this off, yeah, sure. Whatever, no problem. You can uh, sort by the salary and just get the three cheapest. After you get the three, head over to the trade center. And you're just going to select the three people you just picked up. All right. Once you have those three selected, you're going to make your way over to the other side of the trade table. And you're going to find a team that has the position that you want or the player you want for that position. And you're pretty much going to select any team that's not user owned. So. I'm fine, gonna find my boy Brandon Brooks. He's gonna be on the Eagles. So real simple, once I find that guy I want, boom, I'm gonna go to the Eagles, but instead of selecting him, I'm going to select a seventh round draft pick from the Eagles. Now, I did mess up here. I selected a 2017 draft pick. Usually it does go through. The Eagles, however, dubbed my shit. So I'm just gonna do it real simple. Go back to the picks and just select 2018 round seven and it's going to go through easy now once you once the trade goes through you're going to head over to the uh, free agency again and the person you selected should be at the top boom brandon brooks so they dropped him from their roster he was a free agent i get to pick him up for like five five million whatever the change is even though it's a little expensive uh, I'm going to show you a way to get that cap space a little bit lower so you can get those other key players that you want on your team. Very simple. You're just going to select the player that you just picked up. It could be anybody that's been on your roster or you just picked up. Edit player. You're going to go to his position and you're going to select kicker. Now, once you select kicker, you're going to cut him from your squad. And once you cut him from the squad, pretty much go over to free agency. Once you get the free agency, you're just gonna go to kickers, sort through the mess, whatever it is, you know, sort by overall, make it easier for yourself. And when you see him, just re-sign him. And once you re-sign him, all you have to do is switch him back to the position he was originally. And uh, he's about two million lower, just off of that. And this works for all of the positions. So I have Julio on my team. I don't know if you guys have noticed early in the video. I mean, no team is gonna just pay Julio $3 million. You know what I mean? So. I did the glitch. I got to pay Julio three million instead of the 17 million that he wanted, or whatever the case may be, just by switching him to a kicker, dropping him, picking him back up, and switching the position back. So you're gonna watch me do that for my right guard. So I just picked him back up, and I'm just gonna switch his position back to right guard so that he could sit right on the roster where he's supposed to be. And just as simple as that, we got our 84 right guard back, and only for a fraction of the cost. So. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, peace.